Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel, The Budgeting Biologist. My name is Brittany. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping on this little old video. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I do videos on cash stuffing, budgeting, and finance here on my channel. So if you're interested in any of that type of content, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right, guys, so we are going to be doing my first cash unstuffing of February 2022. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. So we're going to start off with our transaction breakdown. And if you're only interested in the cash unstuffing portion of this video, I'll have a timestamp somewhere on the screen um, where you can just go ahead and skip to that. So on the 1st of February, I got coffee from my... Um, jobs like little cafe this is like the bane of my existence right now i usually have coffee every morning at home but i always feel like i need a pick me up by the time that i get to work because i have a fairly long commute well it's not a long commute it's just that i take public transportation so that makes my commute longer and i feel like i always need coffee when i get to work but um that was two dollars and 39 cents we're gonna skip over this and um, come back to this um, transaction later. On um, the 2nd of February, I went to Chick-fil-A and I'm gonna take that out of my eating out money. I spent $18. I went ahead and treated myself and my boyfriend to dinner that day. He was having a really rough day, so I decided to treat him and I to um, some Chick-fil-A for dinner. Also on the 2nd, I went to Walmart and I got a new TV. I don't know guys, I feel like right now I'm kind of in one of those, if it rains, it pours phases of life. My phone was having problems, my TV randomly stopped working, and a couple of other things. So I have had to spend more money than usual on electronics and other things that are kind of just breaking and all, of, all that type of stuff. But it is what it is. This is why we budget and have sinking funds in the first place. So there's no point in having sinking funds if I don't use them. But um, at Walmart, I did get a new TV and that cost me $146.28. I got a 32 inch Roku TV and it will last me basically until I move in with my boyfriend this upcoming July. Like it's still a nice TV, but once him and I move in together, we'll probably put that TV in like a guest room or a bedroom or something and then buy a much nicer TV for our living room. Also on the second, I went to Aldi's and got groceries and that was $39.36. Keep telling you guys, I'm a faithful Aldi stan. Go to Aldi's if you do your grocery shopping, if there's one in your area, far cheaper than any other grocery store I've ever been to. All right, next, um, I didn't actually spend at a store, but I did go ahead and give away all of my giving money, the full $10. And um, I didn't actually give away cash. What happened was on the third, I was out with a friend and um, she had forgot her wallet to pay for the Metro fare. So I just went ahead and gave her $10 out of my giving money to give her Metro fare. She offered to pay me back, but I was just like, whatever, keep it, it's 10 bucks. So that is where my giving money went um, on the third. And that is all of my giving money for the month. Also on the third, I went to a party and I bought a bottle of wine, which was $8.81 um, from a liquor store near me. Again, on a Friday, I got more coffee. I told you guys, this is the bane of my existence. And this was $4.92 because I like treated myself to a Friday espresso and I got a couple of shots of espresso. So $4.92 for that coffee. On um, the 4th, I went back to Walmart and I wound up taking this out of my going out money and I spent $25.62. The reason why I took this out of my going out money is because like I mentioned, um, I was going to a party, I actually bought the bottle of wine here and the party was on that Friday. And um, I bought some other stuff, like I bought some like snacks and other things for the party that I went to. So I went ahead and took that out of my going out money. 
Next on the 5th, which was this past Saturday, I went to Shoppers. Shoppers is a um, grocery store in my area and I always get a donut there <laughs> whenever I go. I just happened to be driving past one and I was like, I really could go for a donut. So I went ahead and got a donut there and a bottle of water and that cost me $3.12. Also on Saturday, I did my laundry and I put $10 on my laundry car and that should last me for the entire month. Um, I went to Target on um, Sunday and I got a few things. Um, I got some face wash and I got some more toothpaste. If you guys don't know, I have Invisalign aligners and when you have Invisalign or braces in general, you spend a lot of money on toothpaste and floss and pretty much all oral hygiene products. So um, between the, uh, the face wash and my um, toothpaste, that was $10.80. Then on the um, last day of the first week of February, I went to Aldi's to go to get my groceries again, and it was $42.49. And then I also went to Five and Below and picked up a few things that cost me $6.10. So in total, I think I spent around $327 in my first week of February, which is much more than I normally do. Of course, that is to the purchase of this TV, but um, let's go ahead and get into the unstuffing. I'm gonna start off with my electronic sinking fund. And I need to take out $146.28. I do round to the nearest dollars. So I will be taking out $146 from this envelope. So 100, there's 40, 45, 46. And left over in this envelope, we have 100, 200, 300. 305, 310, 311, 12, 13, 14. 314 left over in electronics. So now I'm going to move on to my cash envelopes. And I think I'm going to start off with personal. And personal, I need to take out a total of $10.80 plus $6.10. That's $16.90, but I'm gonna round to 17. So we need to take out $17 from personal. Five, 10, 15, two ones makes for 17. And now we have left over in personal. 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53 dollars left over in personal for the month. And I'm gonna organize all my cash um, towards the end of the video when we do our final count. Next envelope I'm gonna go ahead and unstuff is going to be laundry. And laundry, I just need to take out the full $10 and we have zero dollars left. Groceries, I need to take out $42.49 plus, what is that, $39.36. So we need to take out $82 from groceries. And it looks like I'm gonna have to make some change. So I'm starting off with 175. which means we need to have $93 left over in this envelope. So I'm going to take my 20s, so that's 60, 70, 75, that's 80, 85, 90, one, two, three. But let's just count that again, just to be sure. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, one, two, three, 93 dollars left over. And I'm gonna see if I can take all these fives and exchange that for a 20, just so I can, you know, keep having change. So yep, 93 dollars left over in groceries for the month of February.
The next envelope I'm going to do is spending and spending is actually in my wallet. So I have $40 in spending and I need to take out $2.39 plus $4.92 plus $3.12. Leave this with $10.43. And if I subtract 10 from 40, which is what I have in my envelope right now, we need to have $30 left over in spending. So now we have 20, 25, 30 left over in spending. And also while I'm in my wallet, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my giving money that I need to put towards my credit card. And that is one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That'll be going towards my credit card from giving. All right, the next envelope I'm gonna be taking care of is eating out. And eating out, I need to remove or unstuff. $18, so I don't think I have enough change. So I started off with 75 and eating out. If I subtract 18, that means I need to have $57 left over in this envelope. So there's 60, sorry, 40. That's 50, and then we need $7 left over. So another five and then two ones. So now in eating out, we have 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57 in eating out. And I believe the last envelope I need to do is date night slash going out. And I have currently in this envelope $100 and I spent 26. So 100 minus 26 means I need to have left over $74 in this envelope. So that's a 20, 60, 70, one, two, three, four. So leftover in date night for the rest of the month, we have 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, one, two, three, four. $74 in date night. And then I accidentally messed up. The last envelope we need to unstuff is alcohol. And alcohol, I spent $8.81, so I'm rounding that up to nine, which means I need to have $11 left over in this envelope. So five, 10, 11. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and organize all of my money and then count it up to make sure we have the same amount or near the same amount as what I currently have charged on my credit card. All right, so let's go ahead and count this. So we have 100, 200, one, two, three, four, five, 300, 320, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And currently I have $327 and 19 cents charged on my credit card. So we are good to go. All right guys, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. Thank you so much for watching. We are on the road to 500 subscribers on this channel. So if you enjoyed the video, please, please, please give it a like, comment, and then of course subscribe. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.